Hi, this is Dr. Dave, and in this video we're going to take a look at what kind of payment we would need to make to accumulate a certain amount of money in the future. A fund like this is often called a sinking fund. So we're going to start from our simple ordinary annuity formula. Right? Remember, ordinary means that we're going to be making payments at the end of the period, and a simple annuity means that our compounding period is the same as our payment period. So our F is our future value. The R is the payment. I is the interest rate per period. And N is the number of periods. So I've got a problem here that we're going to work out. Suppose you want to accumulate a million dollars in a retirement account in 30 years. The retirement account averages an interest rate of 8% per year. How much would you need to deposit every two weeks from your paycheck to accumulate $1 million? So the first thing we need to realize is that when they tell us we want to accumulate a million, that's what we want in the future. So I'm going to set F equal to 1 million. I'm looking for the payment, so R is unknown. And then I can put all the quantities in that I know inside of the brackets. So we have 1 plus I. Our interest rate is 8%. But I'm doing it every two weeks, so that means 26 times a year. So I'm going to divide that by 26. And then I need to go for 30 years. So 30 years, 26 times a year. So 30 times 26. That means I'm going to have 780 periods minus 1. And now on the bottom, we'll put 0 0.08 divided by 26. So I could divide by this big thing in brackets and kind of do some algebra here. But the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to work out that part in brackets. I'm going to do it very carefully. So instead of having two sets of brackets here, I'm going to work parentheses on top, parentheses on the bottom. I'll work that piece out and write out with all the decimals. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's work out the part inside the parentheses. So we're going to need a set of parentheses for the top of this fraction, and then one for the power part here, 1 plus 0 0.08 divided by 26, and the parentheses, and raise that to the 780th power. Minus 1, and then another set of parentheses that goes around the entire top of the fraction. Now I'm going to divide that set of parentheses for the bottom, 0 0.08, divided by 26, and my parentheses. So I'll check that over really carefully to make sure I have my parentheses in the right place and there are no typos, and then I'll press enter. So the number here for that big fraction is 3244.355. Eight seven four. That's multiplied times r and set equal to 1 million, what I want to end up with. So to get r by itself, I'm going to divide both sides by 874. If I try and type that entire number into my calculator, there's a good chance I might make a typo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say 1 million divided by second answer, where the answer is that long decimal. That alleviates me from having to try and type that in. So my R, my payment, is approximately 
to, and I'm going to round to the nearest penny. Often you'll round up on these things because if you want to accumulate a million, if you ever round down, you're going to come up slightly short. By rounding up in this case, which is to the nearest penny, we're going to make sure that we're going to get a million dollars. In fact, we'll probably get a little bit more than a million dollars because of the rounding. So our payment for 30 years, we're going to have to have $308.23 taken out of every paycheck over that time period.